hey y'all welcome back welcome back welcome back to my channel jazzy here and today we're going to be talking about the real estate exam so first off y'all don't be writing in my comments except for questions about the real estate exam so i don't know what content to make so i'm like can y'all comment give me some feedback give me a like like i don't know what i'm doing okay but let's get into the video so I made a few videos about me taking the PSI, the PSI exam five times. I passed on the fifth. And I got a few comments in my comments about some of the questions. So first I'm gonna go over the exam and my experiences when I went and then I'll answer some questions. So let's get right into it. So when I went, so I, I live in Connecticut and if you don't know, Connecticut is right next to New York. So the first four times I went, I went to Connecticut and I took the test. Well, I'm in Connecticut, but I went in Connecticut, I took the test. And then the last time I went in New York. The craziest part about it is that the job that I work at now, we property manage. Wait, maybe I shouldn't say that. Two different vibes, two different energies of the sites in itself. So the site in Connecticut, it's like there's mad directions to get to it. It's like this factory place i don't even know like it's like the shipping and handling i don't know it's like the situation where you gotta drive in walk down these steps but you really don't know where you're going you really don't know where you gotta park then you go into this building then you gotta walk all the way down to the end and then they're like and there's like one time and that's it um and they're very rude there <laughs> and at the time i don't know about now but when i took my test in april you had to wear a mask and i'm gonna get into somebody getting suspended I um, meant somebody not being able to take their test because they don't want to wear a mask. But um, yeah, like it's not, it's not cute. It's not nice. It's very, I guess, like I guess how state tests are. In New York, it was a vibe. Like it was on the second floor. Everybody was nice. The, the workers there, they gave me what I needed. It was a vibe. So when you first come take a test, you, you want to bring... You wanna bring a calculator. You don't need to bring a pencil, you don't need to bring, bring paper because they're gonna give you a pencil and paper. Um, if you need a calculator, they will give you a calculator. Don't bring nothing else. Don't bring food, because I was told that you could bring food when I was watching YouTube videos. Don't bring food, don't bring water, don't bring nothing. What if you, let's say you bring your bag, or you bring, say because you have to bring your IDs. So let's say if you bring stuff, They'll give you a bag and then they're gonna like zip it up and they'll have the lock, like they'll lock the bag. And then when you leave, you're able to unlock the bag. So make sure that you, you wanna make sure that you bring your calculator and then make sure you have your ID. So typically you need like your um, state ID and then like a credit card or like your state ID and then like your, um, passports you need two forms of id don't forget the two forms because they will not take you they will not let you take the test the first time i took the test i couldn't find the place i didn't know where i was going so key out 45 minutes excuse me to figure it out and i got there like an hour ahead of time i couldn't figure out how to get there i finally get there the girl the lady is mad rude she's like oh girl do you have another form of ID? And I was like, no. So then I started like tearing up. It took me 45 minutes to get here. I'm breathing hard. And uh, I went back to my car and I reread the directions and they said you could bring a credit card. So I go back and I'm like, well, I have a credit card. Is that okay? She said, yes. She's like, you need to sign the back of it. I said, girl, you could have told me that when I came in here. Like they're very petty, not very nice. So the first time I, I didn't pass by one point for the state exam and then, no, for the uniform test, I didn't pass by one point and then the state exam, I got like half right. So on that point, there are two different tests. There's a state portion and the universal portion. I'm not gonna get into, I think it's like 100 and some questions, 120 minutes for the state, for the, for the universal with I think 80 questions or whatever it is. And then the state, there's like only 30 questions and you have like an hour and a half or something like that. So 
I failed the uniform class by one point and then I failed the state part, part by half. Like I failed it for real, for real. So I left there and I'm like, mm, I'm sad, I'm crying. I was really upset because I didn't tell nobody I was taking the test that day. And then I went back like two days later because you have to wait 24 hours before you can schedule your new exam. So I went to go schedule my new exam and then I failed that, but I failed the state exam by half again and then I failed the, the uniform test by two points. So now I'm tight. Um, really wasn't like that deep. Like it was like the first time I knew what I had to bring the third time around when I went. This dude didn't want to freaking um, wear his mask or he was wearing his mask like halfway on, halfway off. And the lady was like, if you don't wear your mask, I'm going to kick you out. So I guess he didn't wear it all the way above. And then the guy's like, well, I paid for this test. I'm taking the test. And then the police came. They had paused the test because I had asked him. I was like, hey, like, it's really loud out here. Can we like pause the test? Like, can you like help me help you help me? Please. Um, so they had, so they had paused the test for me and like two other people. And then that was it. Um, and then that was the third time I took it. And the fourth time I took it, the lady was a lot nicer that time because I explained to her, like, my mother's been this for a very long time. And I was, like, explaining to her, like, ma'am, like, you really hurt my feelings the first time I came here. You was really rude to me. And you really scared me. And then she was like, I'm sorry. Um, and then that was that. And then she was like, you'll get it eventually. <laughs> so then after that, that fourth time, I just stopped. And then the next time, I went to New York. And I took the test and I passed both portions and I passed because I um, was missing a book that had like the exact verbiage that I needed. So when you're studying off these different sites, it's great and it's good, but make sure you guys are studying from the PSI website and you're um, studying the questions on the website the website and make sure you guys are learning things verbatim from the book. Literally, make sure you're remembering definitions exactly for what they are, okay? I can do some study with me videos, like I don't mind doing that. I don't know if you guys are gonna really care about that or not, but I now know this content like OD, OD, like I know it front and back. Also, I would like to make some videos about the actual things that I apply in my day-to-day -day real estate life of things that are on the test. But anyways, back to this. So when I went in when I went in New York, yeah, the, the everybody they were all nice there. Um I came out a calculator, but it was like an old calculator. They gave me a calculator and they gave me paper and pen. And it was the it was a vibe. So um tips and tricks. So I would say number one is to don't go in there thirsty and hungry. And I know like, I'm just being big saying this, but no, seriously, like I was racing trying to get there a few of the times, like my mind was on other things. And like, I was so focused on trying to take the test that I didn't take care of myself. So just like relax, drink some water before you go in there because you, they don't let you keep water or anything with you. You can ask to use the bathroom, but you can, and they'll pause the timer, but you can't just like keep water with you um number two make sure you get up and stretch like just take a second number three is probably like the biggest thing you need to know um on the test they're going to have you can flag a question you can like skip a question and come back and i think that's it like you can flag it and still answer it but something that you want to come back to or you could just decide to not answer it and move on and come back so what I did was at the bottom, I just answered what I could. I went through straight, straight through, answered what I could, left all the math at the end. There were like, I think, maybe like 15 questions, 16 questions about math. Waited to do those at the end, except for the ones that were easy, quick to the point. And so I wrote all the math questions down with all the questions that I didn't really know the answer or I wasn't, I was confused about. If I knew them for sure, I just answered it. If I didn't think I knew them, I would write them down. So at the end of every test I took, I had about 25 to 30 questions that 
I wasn't sure about. So then I went back, or there were math questions, so then I went back, and then I answered those questions, and then I went back again, and then I went through the entire test to confirm and solidify that the me putting these answers in is something that I thought was right. That's the best way to do it. Do it that way. Everyone that I talked to about doing it, they did it that way. It makes sense. And I'm gonna leave it right there. Um, number four, you might not know. So the state and the, so the state test and the uniform test are separate. They're not test together. So if you fail the state, you don't have to take the test. If you fail the state test, you don't, and you pass the uniform, you don't have to retake the uniform. You can just come back and take the state part. You can do that. That's like, that's fine. Um, you only have to pay for the part that you fail, that like you need to take. You don't have to keep paying for the entire thing in total. And yes, every time you fail, you have to re you have to pay for it. I'm answering all the questions that you guys asked me within this video as we're going. I'm just trying to see if there's any more that I am missing. Um, another question was, are all the questions the same? No. A lot of the questions are... Most of, I would say like... I took the test five times, y'all. So like I... After the third time, just about every single question, I mean, I got all the questions because there's but so many tests they have. So something, some of like the name switch or like the number switch, but after like you take it three times, you un like most of the questions, are, it's about 75, 80% of the questions are the same after you've taken it three times for sure. And even the second time, there were a lot of questions that were the same too. I would say lastly, that they will let you know if you fail or pass at the end and they'll give you like, if you fail, they'll give you exactly what you failed on and um, like the different categories. And then what you wanna do is go home and study those categories. And if you pass, they say you pass and then they give you like a, like a piece of paper or a letter saying that you pass. It's not even a letter. It's like something to fill out because you have to send it to the state. And yeah. If you guys would like me to do videos about how I studied and about some of the things I talked about already in this video, please let me know in the comments. Like, I need some more support from y'all. Because I'm giving y'all content. I'm giving, I'm telling you what's up. So like, reciprocate it, please. Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And if you're studying, keep on studying. You got this.